Mostu is a place where uh, everybody feels at home and where you can, uh, uh, together with the students and with your teachers, you can really develop and you can uh, discuss everything that you want. Um, what is also special about the place is that we have really good studio spaces. I was uh, researching all the art academies uh, all through the Netherlands and I also applied to almost all of them. And the moment I walked into HKU and I saw how people were working here and the, the, I got a little taste of the atmosphere and I just got really excited and uh, my feeling was just like, yes, this, this is my school, this is where I want to go, this is where I see myself working in the studios in a couple of years. So I applied and uh, luckily they took me in. So I am super happy with my decision. We have a very clear structure. So in the first year, uh, it's very much about exploration. You will have to do everything. So all the media that are in the book, you have to do to really explore what you like and uh, the things that you are, uh, are for you most interesting. In the second year, you have time to deepen. So deepening is also the very specific theme of the whole year. You can choose courses that you want, you get your own studio space. And in the third year, position is, positioning is very important, which means that you get a bigger studio space and you can explore also a lot of things within the work field. And in the fourth year, it's professionalization, in which you will work towards an end project, which is also theoretical and practical. As you start in the first year, you really start experimenting with everything. So you also touch certain uh, things you've never touched. Let's say I never did sculpture that much in my life. So I was experiencing sculpture and print and uh, stuff that I never did before. So I could also decide for the second year where like in the second year you're gonna decide uh, what kind of subjects do I want. So you pick three subjects or five if you want to. And because I knew uh, sculpture now, I also picked it, together with painting and photography. And because of that year of experiencing just three subjects, um, I really got to see what I really like. So I decided like, okay, I like sculpture, but maybe it's not really my thing. So now in the third year, I chose painting and I'm fully focused on painting and uh, I can just develop myself more and more in that subject. Within HKU Fine Art, there are three things very, very important within the curriculum, which is the practical side of your study, which is, of course, uh, logical, because we are a practical education. Uh, it's the theory part of your education, and it's the work field. In the first year, they're quite split, so there are three different lines, but the more your uh, study um, evolves, the closer they get, and in the end, in the fourth year, they are this one big cluster of information, of investigation, research, and doing. In the third year, you're going to do a group exhibition, so you already get to see what the work field is like a little bit. So you work in a group of seven students, who are also your fellow artists, and you see what it's like to do a group exhibition. You have to find a space, you have to curate your own show, and you will also see how it is to work with other artists. So it's very good to learn uh, what it's like to be an artist, maybe after school, if this is something for you, if it's not something for you, and it's just really good practice. After studying HQ Fine Arts, you are a professional visual artist. What is even more important is that you learn the mentality that gives you the possibility to work in, in a lot of ranges of the work fields, whether it being becoming a studio artist, working together with galleries, uh, working with a community somewhere in Holland or abroad, or working with uh, art in public space. After HQ Fine Arts, you can define what kind of artist you want to be.